say this night, it's already lunch hour, we've been cracked on. Got four new ducks, I'll show you when we go up to that pen, but we've been strimming again. I'm, well, I'm strimming, Kaylee's dragging. I know the back of the greenhouse. A fence. Didn't know it was there. God knows what's underneath it. And this side of the greenhouse. Kaylee's just clearing and pulling them out. And now, it's down. We've got the kids roped in now. Charlie. Jasmine. Desi. And we're slowly, we're clearing. We're getting there. And Kaylee's round there. She's there, look. Show to why we're not cutting trees down. The wind is atrocious up here. The trees are rocking and it will be kind of dangerous to take any of these big ones out. So pen building's on hold because of, it's just not safe. For either me, Kay, or anybody actually. So it's not a tree cutting day, it's a strimming day and fire building day. I've been clearing. I'm gonna take your walk around. Still got all these to pick up and put on there. We're gonna burn. Kids have been dragging some up branches out. Okay, he's found a bit of this wire. So we get in there. We're doing strimming today. Strimming and raking. It's not very warm today either. To say how hot it was yesterday, it's cold. We'll get there. Bit by bit, day by day. The Budlia has gone. Nettles off. Wind the wire up. Biggest bonfire I've had for a long time. Gonna be fun to burn that. Safely, of course. But we have one, two, three, four, five Budlia plants. Six if you include that dead one. It's just that one. And then all this hedge line of little ones. And then them dead ones over there. Because they're all Budlia with the looks of it, but they're dead. So, they'll be all right. But now, that's this morning, done. And then we're gonna crack on again this afternoon once we've been home and had lunch. We can actually see the greenhouse. Look, it's how big it is. Look at it. Hooch. Needs a wash. Definitely needs a wash, Kay. <laughs> that's kid's job next sunny day. We've just got to be careful of the panels. Kay said he slipped. Yeah, well, as long as we just give them a small sponge, just gently go over them. <coughs> because it's all right having a greenhouse, but it's manky. So we're not getting much light through. Give it pre-spray with truck wash. That'll get all the grab off. Will it? Yeah. Apparently a truck wash. What's a truck wash? Just really thick cleaner. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, a thick cleaner. It gets I cold. thought jet wash, but apparently that'll break it. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? The mass panels that need replacing on it. Yeah. Well, we'll replace panels as we get to them. Quick, quick through them bit by bit. I think that used to be a door on back, didn't it? I'm not sure. I think. It's different. It's got all framework. I'm not sure if this had a door on the back that they've replaced out. It looks like it's been pieced. Yeah, it's been. It looks like it's been pieced together. Piece, Here, so I think it used to have a door at this end. We don't want a door. Should we? Oh, look, clean spot. Just need to clean the inside. It's not clean on the other side. Look, I can't even see my clean spot. It's there. Look. Yeah, we're going to get saturated. It's starting to rain now. Tools are safe. Strimmers are weighing dry. Biggest bonfire in Bowser. More plants, don't need watering today. All the birdies are okay and the bunnies. And we'll, we'll be back this afternoon, so stay tuned. Couple of the chicks with this girl. I think there's seven in there, in total. She's been a good mum. So, she might not be breed state. Oh look, another one's come out, another AM. She's not breed standard, but she's been a good mum. At least that. She...
The Pekins are going up to Kayla's farm, so are the Saramas into the no cage. I'm going to keep the AM here just a little bit longer. Keep it taming down. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this bit of the video. So, we've done some moving around in the garage. There's sinks. Moving bits. We're going to put that one together. We kind of did a boo boo and we've lost this end of the garage. But bad. we've not lost it bad enough because we can find it within an hour. So you know what we're doing for the next hour. But we've moved all around here, all around there. We'll duck down KK. And we brought all the we're bringing all the female rabbits indoors. And I think somebody may be expecting because she was nest building. I gave her hay to eat and she built a nest. So we're bringing all the girls in. But we can't move some because she's got newborn babies and we've got to take her out the cage because the cage is too wide to fit through the door. But eventually she'll go there where the feed bins and the dog, <coughs> dog run is. Ignore the board, that's mine. I need that. Tasha's doing fine. Nice big tabs on her, look at them. All the chicks are doing well. We've turned the heat plate back on because it's gone cold. And that's for the bantams. I bring them up. So, actually been quite busy. We've found space. We lost that space. We ignore that space. Four new ducks. One male, three females. And I've only brought them in for eggs. But saying that, now we've got this new land. Oh, look, that's a lot clearer. Looks amazing now. Where was I? Sidetracked. It's like shiny. I like my mum's dog, Judy. Oh, look, shiny. But now we've got the land, if we can put them on concrete over winter, they won't be as muddy. So we'll see what we can do. Let's introduce you to the new ones. There's one male, that coloured one that stood up is an Indian runner. Hi, Gary. Yeah, that's a female goose called Gary, muskies. We've got the blue and white bib, the two white and the tall lanky one. No more eggs. There's an egg over there. It's getting cold now. Let's see if they know how to go to bed. Oh, we got a goose egg. It's on the floor. See the goose egg? Look, that's a goose egg. That's hooch. Right, mucky ducks in. Come on. Come on, Silver. Don't try flying, Silver. You can't fly. Right, this is going to be a bit more fun than I expected. Be back! Covered the nest this time. I want to see if we've got any more. And they're warm. So there's no more. There's two, four, six, seven. So we'll just cover them back up. There's no more in that side. So it might be the other female that's gone to sit rather than the original. I can't tell the difference between the two. There's only a very slight... Different. Come on in your bed, Ivor. See, Ivor's stupid. Go under the fork. There's no air. Go over and fall over. 
Either way, one of them will sit, so we'll have babies one day. But no, we've managed to lock everybody up early. We've done some swapping and changing. Kaylee's just locking the white geese up. The girls have locked some of the hens up. We don't know how to shut gates, apparently. Learn how to shut gates, Desi. The fox could quite easily get through. Everyone's locked up. We've had an incident with Pickle and the other guys, the bigger birds. Everyone's got hay. Covid's been moved tomorrow. And now the other birds have had hold of Pickle, Pickle to the point we've caged her. We have baby quail. These are from his own quail, so we weren't sure on fertility. The one with the green dot is due tomorrow. It was put in a day later. It looks like we've only got two out of these. We'll find out tomorrow. But two baby quail from our own quail. We do still own them. This is my little incubator. My mum hatches the quail. They're too finicky for me. They're known as suicidal. They can drown themselves in a millimetre of water. And my mum deals with quail. I don't. There's a quail, look. There's an egg in the back, I'll tell my mother. Can you see them? That's one trio. There's the other trio of quail. These aren't laying yet, these ones. My mum deals with a quail. Too finicky for me. Reared for meat and eggs. Our Jade loves quail. Me, not so much. It's very gamey. Here we go. The babies. All the babies. Lots of babies. Night time. Should be all snoozing. Two bowls of fruit these guys have cleared. Lots of babies. I'll be doing a discussion tomorrow about the new boy that's coming in. Hi, Princess. Yes, that's the Runty's new name. She wants to be called wants her to be called Princess. Cute name for her, I think. Pickles bleed a bit poorly at the minute. We're going to get her sprayed and cleaned up, but they've done some damage, so Pickles in quarantine at the minute to heal. And we'll have to find somewhere else to put her. Should heal fine, but she needs cleaning up. I put a warning at the beginning of this video to state that there was animals with injuries involved. So some kids may find it distressing. Do I need to assess her wounds? So you had your warning at the beginning. Got it. She doesn't like small boxes, but we'll see how she goes in the morning. She should be okay. Good girl, Pickle. I do actually love you. 